Happy to see you here on my channel and today we have a really interesting challenge x square plus y square equal to 2009 and we should find x plus y. What is the value of x plus y? So how can we do this? First of all, let's rewrite our challenge. So right here we have x square plus y square equal to 2009. Here's our challenge and let's simplify this a little bit. Let's rewrite it in another way. So first of all, I want you to look at this 2009. So let's write 2009 right here. So 2000, 2009. Let's divide this 2009 by 7. Okay, so if we divide this 2009 by 7, we have 287. Okay, 287. And let's divide this 287 by 7. So we have as a result 41. Okay, 41. And we can't divide this 41 by 7, so this is our result. So we can rewrite this 2009 as a product of 7. We have 2 times, so we have 7 square and times 41. Okay, this is our expression that we really need, so we just rewrite this 2009 in another way. And of course our left hand side, so we have x square plus y square which is equal to this expression. So right now I suggest you to look at this substitution. Substitution, okay? So we have our substitution. So let x equal to, let's write our x as 7m, okay? And in this way, our y will be equal to 7n, okay? So let's use this substitution in our challenge, okay? So what do we have right here? Instead of x, we plug in 7m. Instead of y, we plug in 7n, okay? So let's do this. So we have right here 7m square plus y square 7n square 7n square equal to 7 square times 41 okay 7 square times 41 and right now if we look closely we can easily raise this to the power second which should raise uh, 7 to the power square and m to the power square so let's do this so we have 7m square plus 7n square which is equal to 7 square times 41. And this, that's why I use this substitution, because right here we have, so sorry, square right here, square right here, and right here we can easily cancel this 7 square, or we can write it in another way, we can factor this 7 square, and as a result we have m square plus n square, and equal to 7 square times 41. And right now we can easily cancel this 7 square, because we multiplied this by 7 square on the both side, on the left and on the right hand side. Okay, what we have right now? We have m square plus n square equal to 41. Okay, so we hope you understand this step. First, we express this product on the right-hand side, so we express it as a product of two values. Next, we find a substitution, and 7m and 7n, this is a great substitution because we can easily cancel these 7 square, 7 square, and 7 square. Okay, so let's continue. First of all, we have our expression m square plus n square. And I want you to write, I want you to write this for you. So this is like a perfect square. So everyone knows about it, but I want to write it for you. So we have 1 square equal to 1. We have 2 square equal to 4. Yeah, 3 square equal to 9 real quick. Okay, 4 square equal to 16. We have 5 square equal to 25. We have 6 square equal to 36, 36 right here too, okay? So 7 square equal to 49, and I, I think this is enough for me, because if you look closely, so we have a squares right here, and how can we add these two values to get the answer 41? Obviously, it's really great to mm, write this first case when m equal to 4, okay? When m equal to 4 and n equal to 5, n equal to 5, because m equal to 4, uh, this is 4 square, this is 16, so then m square plus n square equal to 49, and we have right here, if we plug in m equal to 4, n equal to 5. So we have 16 plus 25, yeah, 25, which is equal to 41. So this is a great first case of m equal to 4, n equal to 5. And because of this addition, we, sh we can easily write our second interpretation with m equal to 5, and n equal to 4. It changed nothing because we have addition right here, so we have two interpretations, first one and second one. But uh, this is a um, solution according to m and n. So let's go back and let's find where do we have our substitution. We have substitution right here, so x equal to 7m, so let's write it right here. So x equal to 7m and y equal to 
7n, okay? So let's apply uh, for this interpretation or for this dot and matter because we work with addition. Because we have, if we have addition right here, so dot and matter, x plus y, y plus x. So for example, let's use this one, first interpretation. So x equal to 7m, then x equal to 7 times m equal to 4. Okay, m equal to 4. So right here, 7m equal to 7 times 4, which is equal to 28 which is equal to 28, and 7n and equal to 5, so we have 7 times 5, which is equal to 35, 35. And of course, our x plus y, we should find it. In the beginning, we had x plus y right here, so let's, let's find our exact value. So we have x plus y equal to 28 plus 35, which is equal to 63. And this is our solution to this challenge. This is my explanation to you. I hope you understand this explanation. Also, write your thought. This is like looks like your homework today. What about negative values? What about maybe minus 4, minus 5? What do you think about it? Also, write your suggestion down into the comment section. This is my general solution. This is a maximum about x plus y. Okay, this is our maximum value of x plus y equal to 63. So we hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel, maybe more than 300 videos, according to math, according to really interesting challenges every day. So we hope you will enjoy it. So thank you for your time. See you in the next videos and have a great day.